Hey everybody, welcome back to Johnston Gaming. This is AJ, your host and player, and we are back with God of War Ragnarok. We've made it back from Ironwood, but now we are met with a whole bunch of uh dead Draugr here. What is Draugr? Yeah, I mean I think these are still technically called Draugr. Now that I think about it, I really didn't know what to call them. But yeah, so we are ice walkers, hell walkers, whatever you want to call them, that's fine. And so now we got ow. 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 I got frost, so that's why I'm moving so slow. <laughs> There we go. You jerk. I will take that though. Oh, okay. And I gotta keep Ironwood and Ingravota a secret somehow. What'd I get myself into? I don't know, but we should probably head home. Whoop. <laughs> what were you thinking? I, I wanted to visit Fenrir. For two days? I... Do not lie to me again! Why did you come here? Alone? Do you seek death? No more than you. Then why? Why? What is it you will not tell me? I have tried to walk this path with you. We follow you every whim. But you don't believe in any of it. And still, I follow. Because all that matters is that you are safe. But that's not all that matters. Who's keeping you safe? I do not need you to protect me. <laughs> you sure about that? What do you know? I can't talk about it. But I just need you to trust me. You kept secrets, but I trust you. That's not the same. Why not? You hit things, mother hit things, you had good reasons, and so do I. Why can't you just... No, oh! Later. They're back. So let's go. There we go. Hell Reaper, that's what they're called. Okay. Are you... Yeah, yeah. Dude, I'm not even trying to kill you yet. Now I'm trying to kill you. <laughs> Oh boy! No. Valkyrie out of nowhere! Remember us? Not sure this is a Valkyrie we've met last. How do you know? Corporeal, not different. Looks like the bastard's finally done it. We don't want to fight! Sorry, that's not gonna work on me. Ow. There we go. Doesn't seem she's in the mood to talk. Well, she doesn't have a choice. <laughs> oh god. All right, so we have a new, um, whatever, our Fury is called Valor, so now we can heal rather than do harm, which actually this comes in handy with some later battles, so it's nothing to sleep on. Oh, yeah, too late for that, Mimir. I'm trying to dodge, but I just, just, just can't seem to block, dodge, or do anything. There we go. Oh boy. What am I doing here? 
Oh. Oh, I'm trying to. <laughs> I'm trying to freaking uh, parry, but I just can't get my timing right. Oh well. Oh boy. If I have to fight this freaking bear again. <laughs> When you realize that you were about to get mauled by a bear. to me alive oh okay this <clears throat> home home really you will tell the truth when i return now i must set things right um, we'll take him i so, love how they just pop out of nowhere nice every time when there's some crap going on to see you again <laughs> Sunshine, come on, get a move on. What is it you want? I refuse to remain bound to this realm. We travel to Vanaheim. Well, guess it's just us then. <sighs> One gateway to Vanaheim coming right up. Two. All right, so now we can use uh, Fury or Valor, like I was saying earlier. So with this one, you can actually choose uh, how you want to use your rage. And so sometimes, just depending on your playstyle, but even honestly, just uh, who you're fighting sometimes, like you'll change it up, and you can change it on a whim Fury too. So. It's it's really helpful. I crafted a protection ward that'll keep me from being pulled out of the realm. It should hold until I find what I need. What is that? The source of the magic that binds me to Midgard. We're going to find it and destroy it. I will help you, but it will not change what I have done. I know. That's why I still might kill you when this is over. We going or what? If you could kill me. <laughs> So yeah, so it looks like Freya is uh, needing our help with something so that she is no longer bound by the um, bound by this realm. So she needs our help in order to get those uh, runes destroyed. So you know what? Out of the kindness of our own heart, well, kind of really honestly by the being forced, we we're, we're gonna help her out. 
And what is it you expect to meet Kratos for, Highness? Clearly you've been quite capable of breaking Odin's curses on your own. The other curses grew weak from Thimble Winter, but I still needed help to break them. This one is held strong. So all that trying to kill him, that's just your goddessy way of asking for help? I don't recall <laughs> asking you to come along. Because you didn't. I got an old <laughs> drinking buddy I've been meaning to look up once this joint were back on the map. Got a hunch lending you mokes a hand's gonna end me up where I'm going. And what makes you think that? Because last I heard tell, she was running with that beefwit brother of yours. Freyr is not a part of this. Well, my hunch says otherwise. Scrote, too. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Gotta love Brock. I can feel the pool of the binding curse. Its source is further in. Follow me. You kind of don't have Aren't a choice here. I'm shit pit out here. And nearly as fragrant. I suppose Fimble Winter's to blame. But if it helps these two find peace. This is a temporary alliance, Mimi. Anything beyond <laughs> that would require trust. Oh, please. You know damn well Kratos isn't the true cause of your suffering. You're both as much a part of my suffering as anyone. Wow, Mimi, thanks for. How's about a riddle to lighten the mood? Oh, God. What? Easy, I knows. You'll have to try harder than that, Brock. Just you wait, smart guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what is this? I will take that. Oh, okay. oh. Can't do that yet, anyway. Oh, yeah. oh no. Something's wrong. My spell, I can feel it slipping. Well, that's Fimble Winter for you. You don't understand. I'll be torn from the realm. What can be done? Something I was hoping to avoid. Seems I don't have much choice. Falcon! Turn to Birdie! Come on, then. You had a way around Odin's curse this whole time. No. I discovered it once you unlocked realm travel. And it solves very little. This form is extremely limiting. That's Thimble Winter for you. Not. <laughs> oh, Brock. Watch where you're going. The plants are extra aggressive in this humidity. Yeah, so watch out for those. There's going to be all types of matter of plants trying to kill you, so... You like these are proximity mines when you think about it. So the closer you get, you know, the more active they become, and then they will um, they'll blow you up. So be careful. And now we got Brock by our side. What was that? But don't that get the old juices flowing? Forgot how much I like scrappagers. <laughs> oh wow! You see, like that, yeah. And if you're not careful, they, they will they will surprise you sometimes. So don't be like me, kind of. Boy, you don't miss a Where is everyone gone? I wonder. Why are y'all talking over each other? Hidden themselves out in the wilds and covered But yeah, be careful, so take things a little bit slower than I am. How many are left or how to reach them? Oh gee. all over this place, huh? You can thank Mamir for that. War with the Vanir was never my idea. My idea was brokering the marriage to end it. A great success that was. Obviously the peace was no less a disaster than the marriage. Did he invade again as soon as I was exiled? Ooh. Oh, it's that one. Never mind. I'm good. For some strange reason, I thought I already unlocked that one. Okay, never mind. Well, again, I, I, it, it's not me. Sometimes I just can't legitimately see them. So it's just like you're running all of a sudden, bang. 
I recognize this market. Villagers would meet and trade here. Why they never rebuilt? All right, so we are going to go back over here. Climb back up. See, like that, right there. See, and sometimes they're hiding behind other plants and stuff, so sometimes I just can't legitimately see. They sure left behind a lot of goodies. <laughs> and we are taking those goodies, my dear man. I'll take that. Ooh. Do you want to stab these poems? Oh, there's always meaning if you look hard enough, brother. It's all in what you bring to it. Thank you. Well, I was just over here. I have no idea how I missed that, but I did. Wow. Okay. All right. So I need to go. This way. There we go. Are you kidding me? Freddy, you didn't say anything. You were just hoping I would die, wouldn't you? You're a jerk. <laughs> All right. Oh, oh, okay. Too slow. You got a problem with that? Do something about it. Oh. Closing in behind Being here again. Bringing back memories of that wedding of yours. Fancy folks and quality meats. That should be the slogan for something. <laughs> Fancy folks and quality meats. Bringing him up. My brother is no concern of yours. Hey! The plant life grows more dangerous the further we go. Hope you're up for it, Ward. Listen. Oh, poison ivy would not be happy. Sindri and I were on the out so long, it was like not having a brother at all. Now, nah, I take some of the fall for that on account of me walking out. But it never stopped me blaming him most. <laughs> Does this sound familiar so far? And what is your point? My point is, that was the end of all of things after all. Once we got our heads right, it was like no time had he went straight back to being as big a pain in my ass as he ever was. That's family. You gotta keep them close, or they make you good and crazy. Why do you think I need to hear any of this right now? My focus is on regaining my freedom, and I have no intention of being distracted. Look, all I'm saying is, if you happen to find yourself talking to your brother, Maybe the worst word said between you don't have to be the last one. Enough. When the day comes to face prayer again, it will be when I am standing on my feet and free. You understand me? It will not be while I'm stuck in this preposterous situation. Got a case of pride, I guess. Hope yours clears up quicker than mine did. 
And that is really saying something coming from Brock. <laughs> Touching story that was. Bite me. <laughs> Yeah, so, I mean, obviously, I mean, as much as people think that Brock is unsophisticated, oh, Jesus, as much as people think that Brock is unsophisticated, you can actually see that he knows what he's talking about. Like, he was talking about the conflict that him and Sindri had. You know, yeah, things didn't, things always weren't gravy, but at the end of the last game, they were able to make amends, and now it's like nothing, no time has passed. So, it's just like, he was saying that making up with your siblings or with anybody in general is always going to be well worth it in the end. And y'all can work through some difficult times. So, man, just never really thought in this game that Brock would be spitting some hard facts like that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the delivery could have been better, but <laughs> the lesson still remains the same. How much was just Mjolnir? Can one man do this much damage? Depends on the weapon and the man. What is this? Not now, brother. We've got company. Yeah, I can do nothing with that at the moment, but oh, oh, hi. What you think you're gonna do? Kill me? Better man in pride. And dog. Take that. Oh. Don't know why my weapon was in this picture. I felt that one, brother. I'm glad you did. But now it's a fourth. Now it's a shared experience. Love this finisher. There we go. Definitely be taking those. What else do we have here? There we go. Hold up. If you want to keep your insides inside. <laughs> yeah. All yours. Your people not receiving visitors? I wouldn't know. They're not my people anymore. Come on up. Bet you're glad old Rock's around to save you. Uh-oh. Oh, no. We should probably go get him. Keep your guard up. I like how Mimir said that, yeah, like, yeah, we should probably go get him. <laughs> Quiet. Now, what do we have here? Oh, one eye, send another god to do his dirty work. Thor, too busy. We do not serve Odin. <laughs> no? Picked a dangerous place for sightseeing, then. Am I right? No, no. No need for threats, brother. Oh, 
I know that voice. <laughs> you know, I'd cut off your head, but it seems somebody beat me to it. Aye. Oh, well, quite observant, brother. <laughs> no, you're no brother of mine. He sold my sister to that prick. We broke it a piece. Oh. Did you now? Where is it? Hmm? And where is my sister? Some dungeon in Asgard? Is she even alive? Answer me. It was like easy there. <laughs> I guess we'll settle for blood. Stop. What is that? Why do you speak in her voice? It's me, Ingvi. There's no time to explain. Just listen. These men are in my service. I'm here to reclaim what's been taken from me. It's too late. You can't undo what's been done. I can. I will. Now let them pass. So... You serve my sister. Down. Now we were at Freya's camp. Yep, so that's What's Freya's brother right there. Like that, you crusty egg? Okay, oh, it, blobber. Come here. Well, found who I was looking for. Think I'm gonna stay and catch up. Oh, are you now? Do as you wish. So Brock's friend right there, I know you can't really tell, and I didn't actually tell until later, but the actress that is voicing her, and I cannot remember her name at the moment, but it's the lady that's uh, the AT&T girl from the uh, current AT&T commercial, so I thought that was a pretty little neat casting there, and so she's actually bringing the voice of uh, Lunda here. Here's my family. Let me go ahead and do some upgrading here. Not enough resources for the upgrade. Man, man I just can't upgrade them. All right, so we have all, this is all craftable. Oh, we, we could do this one. This actually adds a lot of goodies, but you know what? I don't like how that looks. You know what? We can get more benefits. So you know what? I'm going to upgrade this. Gonna introduce me to this tall glass of milk you got for a bodyguard? <laughs> it's a tall glass of milk. <laughs> I forgot how much. <laughs> she says that kind of stuff throughout the game. It is actually funny because they have a conversation about it. So it's pretty, it's pretty deep. Pretty wholesome. All right, so we can't upgrade those, but you know we got that. That's fine. Uh, let's see what else we have. Need something special? Yeah, let me go ahead and craft one of those, please, because I will definitely be needing it. Um, well, see, we have all these artifacts. We'll just keep those for now. Um, let me go to skills here. How much? Okay, I got about 4,000 points. Let's see what I can afford. Oh, uh, no, I'm, I'm pretty well set for now. Hang on just a second. Yeah, I can't do anything else. So yeah, this is what I was saying. So the Spartan Rage to change your, your attributes here, you can either do Fury or Valor. And this is upgradable too. So you know what, while we're here, I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade my Fury. And so as you get, so you can upgrade it for it to be more potent. You can do stronger abilities and all that stuff. So yeah, this is just stuff to look out for. And always remember to go back and check it every once in a while. Like I said, I am terrible at it. Don't blame me because I don't try to. It just, it just happens that way. But you know what? We're actually going to call it a part here, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining me today. This has been AJ with Johnston Gaming. 
stay tuned for the next part of God of War Ragnarok. And as of this recording, it is actually the 24th of December. So Merry Christmas Eve to you, to everybody, and have a Merry Christmas, Christmas and Happy Holidays. And y'all enjoy your family, your friends, and just have a great day tomorrow. So-